All right, guys. So it's that time finally. I'm gonna show you guys what I carry in my backpack every day, day by day, so I could succeed and be successful in class or in school. Uh, I carry a couple of things with me. As you guys know, I'm a computer science major, so of course I'm gonna be having tech with me at all times so I could be successful and so I could get all my coursework done in a timely manner. Because when it comes to you know CS, you have to be able to maneuver fast and quick and just be able to adjust because you never know when you have to work on something or work on a project. I'm gonna dive into the things I have in my backpack, which is right here. Um, first off, this backpack is actually from like Amazon. I got this backpack a while ago and it's a cool little backpack. I love the color on it. I just love how it looks and I, it's really comfortable. It's been with me for a while, for like over three or four years now and it's still in great condition. I try to keep everything that I have mint. So first off, water. Let's talk about my hydro flask. Like I got this for Christmas from my cousin and it, it goes with me everywhere. Like I always have water in it. As you can, you can hear right now, I always have water in it. Water is essential. H2O, staying hydrated throughout the day is essential because when you're walking to class and you get tired, when you sit down in that lecture, best believe you're sweating or you're tired, you're puffing and puffing. You gotta have some water so you can just drink up and be hydrated. All right, so we'll actually start in this pocket right here. I'll dive into the other stuff after, but opening up this pocket right here, I actually have everything that I need. So in this pocket, as you can see, I have like binders and stuff in here. Things like my computer science binder. Well, I have a couple other things in here like math, forms all that stuff so this is like for just everything in general i have everything divided in there with dividers so it keeps everything organized and flashcards you never can go wrong with flashcards i always keep these on me i have some other ones that are open already hence why these aren't open yet but yeah flashcards essential um boom you can probably see this wire sticking i'll just go with this next but this is my portable ssd this is like four terabytes or two terabytes something like that regardless it holds a lot of my stuff in it and it comes in clutch i have videos on here i have files on here projects on here pictures on here photos on here anything that you can name when i'm working on projects and i don't want to store it directly on my computer because they're too big what did he say hey, oh, oh. hey yo but yeah whenever i want to store projects on my hard drive or SSD because they're too big, I do that and it comes in clutch. So yeah, this company creates really good SSD. So I went with them and this has been nothing but great to me. Next up, of course, hand sanitizer, the boring stuff. Gotta stay clean because when you're on campus, you don't know, <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that. But when you're on campus, you don't know what people got going on. People be sneezing, they don't cover their mouths. So boom, hand sanitizer, got that to keep the germs away. Continue with the tech, I have my, uh, this is my hub for my laptop actually. Uh, I just carry this with me whenever I need, you know, to connect the SD card to it or like use HDMI, this comes in clutch. As you can see, this is from, what's it, Vivitar, something like that. You guys can see that, it's from Vivitar. But yeah, uh, cool little hub, uh, it's great. If you guys need one, I suggest this. All right, so we have other things like my composition notebook. This is all the boring stuff, so I'm trying to run through it really quick. But my composition notebook for like CS, I have this for like Java, C, Python, and C Sharp. I have all my notes for that in here. And I have a whole bunch of like other notebooks and stuff, like my old tests I got back. But yeah, that's just all the boring stuff. Coming into like these pockets up here, because I have these other pockets, I have my Texas Instruments calculator. You gotta have a calculator, especially when you're doing math and stuff like that, because Trust me, the math gets tough, these courses get tough, so a calculator really comes in clutch because trust me, our brains can't handle some of these numbers. <laughs> like, I be see, like, we'll get numbers like one, like 1 million, 200, like, it's like, yo, I'm not doing that in my brain. And sometimes, like, our professors won't even let us use calculators, and it's ridiculous. So, a calculator comes in clutch. These calculators go for like 300 or like $200 now, which is ridiculous. But I have two calculators. This calculator is really expensive, but it's great, by the way. And if you guys need a calculator, I recommend this for sure. I have pencils, all that other stuff, but I do have a USB stick also. Uh, this just stays with me because I have other miscellaneous things on here that I've used in the past. I have like projects from like two years ago from classes that I took on here from like, you know, oral exams and stuff like that that I had to do. So this right here, if I ever need it, take this out. So whenever I need to connect it, I have uh, this little hub that I can connect it to and I can just use it on my laptop. Okay, so I have my journal. My journal is just where I write extra stuff. Like, this is just like a planner or journal, I'll say. I did like a cool little drawing on the side here. It's kind of bright, but it's just, I don't know, but just to like, you know, when I open it up, I can know it's my journal. And, you know, I like to doodle a lot. So I just did that and it's cool, I guess. My pick, uh, I keep an extra pick with me. I know you guys see me and I had a lot. It's cause I haven't gotten a haircut in like forever. I usually wear my hair sometimes cause I have an afro, but I haven't been wearing my hair at all cause I haven't gotten a haircut in like three or four months. And it looks atrocious down here. As you can see, I still have facial hair on. I need to get it trimmed up, but I'm gonna get a haircut soon cause my birthday's coming up. But yeah, this is my pick that I keep. Cause I have another pick, but I 
usually keep it home and this stays in my backpack if I ever need a pick. All right, real quick, a couple of things that I don't carry in my backpack, but I carry on me that are essential. Like every day, if I forget this, my day is not the same. Like I instantly just snap into this mold where it's like, I feel like something is not right. So off topic, I have my AirPods. My AirPods are always with me. If you see me walking on campus, nine times out of 10, I'll have these on unless I forget them for some reason, but I'll have these on playing my music, just vibing out. Cause in between classes, it's always good to vibe out. Cause you know, you're always stressed out. Like if I come from a lecture, and I'm stressed out and my brain just got grilled with math or whatever the case may be with code. It's always good to wind down, listen to the music before my next course or on the way to my car. Don't get me started. I know you, <laughs> don't get me started. Chapstick, number one thing, this is always with me. Chapstick, gotta keep it. You don't want your lips looking crazy. You don't want your lips looking chap. And I keep this chapstick with me so I can just always have it accessible. So when I need it, I can just use it. Cause especially when it gets cold, man. <laughs> It gets ridiculously cold and lips get chapped, so I have to have chapstick with me, essential. Another thing is my phone, of course, but I don't have that with me, of course, because I also use my phone for other things also. Like, I maneuver with my phone a certain way. Like, if I'm not using my laptop and I need to access something real quick, I have everything on my phone, too, to a degree, to an extent, but I have a lot of things on my phone where I can just pull up. For example, if I have to pull up Microsoft Word and I don't have my laptop, I can pull it up on my phone, and I have all my files just flowing through Drive, so I can just pull it up on my phone and send out a file if I need to or send out a doc if I need to, and it comes in clutch. All right, so for my small pocket right here, down here, this is my small pocket. Um, in this pocket, I have a couple things. I have gum and I have some Kellogg bars, as you can see. Are these Kellogg? I usually keep like two with me. If I'm ever hungry and I don't eat in the morning, if I don't like have oatmeal or something or I don't have cereal, I'll usually have these in my backpack in case my stomach starts growling. I can always, you know, whip this out, pause. I can always like, you know, take this out of my backpack and, you know, eat this if I'm ever hungry. Also, like below this pocket, I have a portable charger. This portable charger I actually got from my brother to hand me down, but this portable charger has been great to me. When I say great, if you don't have a portable charger in your backpack, what do you do? This takes USB-C and it takes standard USB. It has a fast charger port and everything. Like this will stay charged for like three days and charge all my devices, like even my laptop. Like this little thing right here. This is a powerful, powerful power bank. And I love it. Like I go with this everywhere with me. I'm going to travel this weekend, like I said. So I'm going to have this with me, of course. I'm going to charge this up tonight. And I'm going to have this with me because whenever my, you know, devices are on charge and I'm not near an outlet, this is really clutch and it comes in really handy because I can just use it. All right, next up, I know you guys, you know, just want to get into tech already. So really important to me is my iPad. Uh, this is the iPad. I'm pretty sure. Uh, fifth, is there a fifth, sixth? Hold on. Uh, this goes everywhere with me also. It's always in my backpack in the inside pocket because whenever I need to take notes, like for discrete math, I use this at every lecture uh, to write notes. Like if I needed to do exam review or take notes from the lecture or do anything of that sort, I'd be able to use my iPad to take notes. This is actually the Space Gray iPad fifth generation. It's the Air version. It's been nothing but great to me. I use Good Notes and other note taking apps. I have a stylus. And another side note, conveniently enough, this iPad right here, I could program on it. Like sometimes I actually did a project on here to test it out. I wasn't able to use my laptop for some odd reason. And I did do a project on here for class and I was able to submit it. And I forgot what app it is, but let me go to the app real quick or tell you guys real fast what app it is. But because I know some of you guys are probably wondering, I use, hold on, let me, I'll just show you guys the screen real quick. But boom, those are just a few of the apps I use. That's just my coding folder I have. They have Nemo in it, Code Academy Go, Code Snack IDE, Codex, and it has Decoder on here, which Decoder is the one I use the most. It's able to run files. Runtime is a big thing when it comes to computer science and your runtime has to be quick. So I will say when it comes to like programming on your tablet or your iPad, I should say, it's really tough because at times like it takes a while for your code to run. Like even if I'm running like Hello World on here, for example, it'll take a little second, but it's better than nothing. So I use this, like I said, and it comes in clutch. My iPad uses it for no for doodling whatever i need it comes in clutch for videos also another thing since i'm going to show you guys my laptop next i actually use sidecar with this and if you guys don't know what sidecar is it's convenient because as you can see i have a double monitor well triple monitor setup going on but just double monitor now because my one monitor broke <laughs> comes in clutch because I could use this as a second monitor and connect it to my laptop and wherever I go and I travel to if I need two monitors two screens I can use this as a second screen which is clutch I could do it wirelessly or hardwire it so it's even more seamless and the you know connection doesn't drop and all that stuff so yeah iPad really clutch I use this like every day all right guys so now for the pocket behind here, the pocket where the magic happens aka where my laptop resides aka the home of my laptop aka stop it Get some help. Yeah, just a whole bunch of AKAs. This is where my laptop is, and I love my laptop. It goes with me everywhere. As you know, 
Like I said, I'm a CS major if you guys don't know already, obviously, but a laptop is important. So right here in this pocket, I have my laptop, boom. And it's actually in another pouch because, you know, I don't play that. Oh, scary. Oh, 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 shiver my timbers. Shut up, man. When it comes to tech, I get really like iffy and I just want my tech to be protected. And I want to make sure that, you know, all corners are valid. So if I ever drop my backpack on accident or, you know, something happens, I could always depend on this pouch at least to keep my laptop a bit secure. So yeah, uh, let's start with this pocket up here. This pocket actually has two cables in it, which is one right here, my phone charger that comes in clutch. I actually forgot this like two days ago. Like one of the vlogs I did, I forgot my charger. And it was like the one day I forgot my charger. My phone was like at 1% and my phone died on me and I didn't have my charger for like the first time in a while. Cause I took it out to use it for like USB-C cause this is a fast charger. And literally like my charger wasn't with me and it was awful cause I wasn't able to charge my phone like I said. But yeah, uh, this charger comes in clutch and they're fast. The next charger I have up is my iPad charger. I gotta have this with me. But my iPad is not charged. I can charge on my iPad. Like I said earlier, I use my portable charger a lot. Oh, it depends. I don't use my portable charger that much but when i need to it comes in clutch i just have my wires with me and when i don't want to charge stuff to my laptop because sometimes when you charge stuff to your laptop of course it drains the juice from your laptop when i don't want to drain the juice from my laptop and my laptop's already like low on charge i could always use this and my portable charger to charge my tablet all right now for the laptop itself this is my macbook pro i think this is the 2020 version with the uh the touch bar and okay the one thing i'm gonna say to you guys and express really heavily is your laptop doesn't really matter like in a sense like you can use whatever laptop you want to program you don't have to have a macbook i actually had a windows laptop but it ran stupendously slow so i don't even use that anymore but stupendously slow hmm stupendous Mm hmm wait a second hmm all right bet so i don't even use that anymore but i only use it as like a hacker i call it a hacker top when it's not really it's not really a hacker top but i just call it that because i use it for like online tests i have to take when i need a webcam or something like that so i don't have to put that on my laptop because all those files on my laptop i don't want to risk it so i just put it on my hacker top and everything is like clear i have like no files on that laptop i just use it for like test or like whenever i want to like test something out i use that laptop but like that laptop i got like myself when i just came out of high school when i was going to college and i got it for like what like 300 400 dollars i saved up got it for 300 400 dollars but now it runs really slow i think it only has like an i3 in it but this laptop right here this is the m1 macbook pro and it it runs really smooth like i love it it does everything i need and like i said earlier runtime is everything when it comes to macbooks so when i need to like get fast runtime i plug up my charger and i just code away like i said like i could take this wherever i want to like this weekend for example i have a project due on sunday that i've been working on today but i finished like working on it i sent the file back to the boys and now when i get it back i can work on it potentially if i need to you know fix something or code up on something i could do that while i'm gone because my laptop has everything on it also like everything that my pc has i'll probably have it on my laptop top in a sense because my pc is my main computer like i sit in front of my computer all day every day you could ask any of my friends ask any of my family when they call me i'm in front of my computer my friends call me i'm in front of my computer it gets straining on the back obviously so like you got to know how to stretch i have a massager that i got for christmas actually for my cousin which was really nice of her it was really clutch shout out to you lisa but i got that for christmas and whenever i need to get a little massage i put it back here and i just literally get a massage and i'm sitting down coding away or just editing because i usually edit on my laptop but if i want to edit sometimes i'll sit down here at my desk because it feels like I'm more locked in. I'll just sit down, open my laptop, and I'll edit away because I use Final Cut Pro on here. If you guys were wondering, I use VS Code. Like, there's other, like, programs like Ripplet and all that stuff that we use this semester so we could, like, share files and stuff like that. I always stress it to my friends that I use it. In the past, a lot of people, like, knocked me for using VS Code, and those same people use VS Code today. And I'm like, yeah, hop on the way. VS Code is pretty solid. Like, I like VS Code. And I use Xcode 2 for, like, you know, iOS development. I haven't been doing that in a while, but I do want to start back up on a project I did called Ship It. It's like a simple little like shipping platform I created because I was just sitting one day, ordered something from, I think it was eBay and an issue occurred. Like I got my package perfectly fine, but I realized during the process that they could have had like a better implementation of something. So I was like, why not fix it myself and make a little shipping platform that implements that. So I started programming it and you know coding it up but i never finished you know that happens a lot i had a plethora of projects that i started but i did not finish so i need to go back and finish those but yeah it's always good to do side projects side note like always work on your side projects and always do that because it keeps you getting better at programming 
and it just overall you know helps you in the future to put on your resume or give you that experience that you need like i said before don't worry about the laptop you have just make sure your laptop doesn't run like a snail if your laptop runs great like i said runtime is a big thing if your laptop runs smooth that's all that matters and it does the job i take this to school with me every day take notes on it i use notion a lot as you guys know but yeah this is everything lastly something that you have to have for your laptop is a charger um my charger usually stays home but it's with me a lot of the time especially when i travel because i don't care how much charge i have you, you should have a charger with you because it comes in clutch regardless like you may think you're not gonna use your laptop as much as you think you are but it comes in handy regardless just to have it there and you know have that extra fail safe just in case your laptop were to die i usually always have my laptop charged and if i don't i charge it before class but I did have like one or two instances like this semester alone, just one or two where like I opened my laptop in class or my lecture and I was like, whoa, my laptop was only like at 13% or 15%, but the battery life on my MacBook is great. So like I'll go through like two or three lectures off of 16% charge and I'll still have like three or 4% left over like whenever I'm done, like which is great. It's a great thing, but yeah, just having a charger with you is always great. It goes with me everywhere. If it's not with me, it's home. And if my laptop's not charged, it looks like I'm funny though, I'm done for it. But yeah, like I said, just always have your charger with you because this is a big thing. If you want your laptop to run even faster, connecting it to power makes your laptop flow even quicker and makes your ID run even faster. So yeah, charger, a big yes, big thumbs up. So that's basically it for my backpack. I'm um, gonna take you guys back around here. All right, y'all, so that's about it for the video. Uh, thank you for, you know, being with me and thank you if you watched through the whole video. I appreciate it a lot. That was what was in my backpack. Let me know what you guys wanna see more of. I have a whole bunch of video ideas in mind. But yeah, uh, the semester is basically over. I have finals. I'll probably do like one more finals week vlog just to end it off strong. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And obviously this video was a what's in my CS backpack or my, you know, school backpack uh, on a daily basis. So you guys can see what I carry with me, the EDC basically. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, like comment subscribe it goes a long way i appreciate it uh see you guys in the next one oh my oh my god